Hey, you're here with Ben, and today we're gonna to be going out to see a steam locomotive. Kind of like the Krampus Love video, it's just gonna be a nice short one, because there's really not a whole lot to say. Because even I had no idea about it until just a couple days ago while I was scrolling through Reddit, just going down and saw somebody's photo from last year when a steam engine showed up at the Ostbahnhof. Now, I had a lot of trouble figuring out when and where, and there's been no signage for it at all. So we're gonna go on an adventure today to try to figure it all out and see if you can make it happen as well. So I'm pretty stoked I managed to make this video about Munich's Christmas steam engine ride because you know, I'm gonna make it look easy. Figuring out was far from trivial and went well out of the range of the average tourist. So I'm glad to be a service. It all started when I saw a cool steam engine pic on Reddit referencing a Christmas themed ride. And after an initial fruitless Google search, I wasn't even sure that the train still ran. You know, maybe this photo was just from years ago. There was that little marketing or easily discoverable information available. In the end though, I decided to go myself and do some recon at the train station. And having now pieced it together, I can pass the information on to you. So here's how it went down. I arrived at the Ostbahnhof train station relatively early in the morning and proceeded to essentially wander around, pestering some Deutsche Bahn workers, you know, keeping my eyes peeled for special signage, but there was nothing. And many of the workers just seemed confused. I was worried that maybe it just didn't exist after all and that I was wasting my time. In a stroke of luck though, one employee mentioned that the train probably arrived somewhere between track 16 and 20 and he was on the money as sitting on track 17 was our train, just chilling next to a modern s -bar as if nothing out of the ordinary was going on at all. Turns out, this Munich steam train experience does indeed exist, and I wasn't crazy at all. Organized by the Munich Railroad Museum, this 1943 steam train, or Amsug in German, takes guests on a festive one-hour ride around Munich. It runs on the second weekend of Advent, this year landing on the 7th and 8th of December, with scheduled departure times of 10 a.m., 11.30, 1.30 p.m., and 3 p.m. Tickets cost 20 euros for adults, and children only pay about 12, so it could be a little bit dear if you've got quite a few people. If you don't feel like taking a ride, no worries. It might still be worth nipping over though, on your way to say, the Hidehausen Christmas Market. Check out my Locals Christmas Market video for more on that, as this way you can still take a look at the train and even wave the passengers off. I saw a ton of people doing that, and a lot of people with nice cameras too. Children, if they do go on the train, will delight in its seasonal special passenger, Saint Nicholas, who parades through the train bringing sweets for the good children and his helper laden with coal for the naughty ones. I'll go ahead and link all the information I could find in the description below. However, a lot of it is gonna be in German. Google Translate often does a pretty good job for this sort of thing, at least getting you the gist. Overall, I'd say that this is a pretty fun Christmas activity for children and train enthusiasts alike, and can make an excellent detour from shopping at the market. Back to past Ben, let's check out more footage and I'll see you in the conclusion.
Hey everybody, we're back in apartment after the Munich steam train experience. We're just going to talk a little bit about our differing perspectives and how they affected our overall opinion on this. So Ben, why don't you start out? Right, so I have often been called a train enthusiast, uh, somewhat against my will, though I suppose it's not inaccurate to say that. I have taken you to many train museums, transportation museums, and train experiences. However, my opinion on this one is a little polarizing. You see, I think there are kind of like two types of people who really like these train experiences. There are people who are actually in it for the experience itself, right? To actually have the, the more glamorized meal, the saloon car, and the big, beautiful settings, perhaps a fancy aqueduct in the Scottish Highlands. Uh, and I don't think if that's what you want, this is gonna do it for you. This is a far more bare bones, I would argue maybe even considered an authentic experience in the way that you know, it's pretty chill. The train just arrives at Ostbahnhof as if it was any other train, which is super weird. Idles there for a little while, you get on it, and it takes you around the city. It's not the most scenic ride, but it is also the normal ride that a lot of commuters take, and you do get to see Munich, which is pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, it is just very bare bones. Uh, it, incredibly historic. So, you know, if saying that doesn't turn you off, if the idea of having to bring your own snacks and drinks and kind of make your own fun, uh, if that doesn't turn you off, then totally go for it, yeah. Well, what do you think? Yeah, so as somebody who feels quite apathetic about historic steam trains, but has been to a lot of museums and a lot of experiences, I can't really say that I'd recommend this to other people in my position. So my experience was we went to the platform, I walked around, saw the steam train, it was idling, so steam was coming out of the smokestack, if that's what you call it, I don't know. Um, and was looking at all the different parts of the engine, sort of visualizing how they're, they're making it run. And that was really cool for about two minutes, and then I was quite bored. And then we had the hour-long ride around Munich. It was interesting for me to be on a historic steam train that was going on the same routes that I take on the normal S-Bahn. But again, an entire hour of that, as somebody who's not a train enthusiast, was not very interesting. So I really wouldn't recommend this to people who are like me only people who are big enthusiasts like you. And maybe if they have children who are also like that. Yeah, if you have children, that totally helps because you get the whole added fun of St. Nicholas. It gets them out of the cold yeah. for a little while, you know, and can kind of give them a bit of variety if all you've been doing is Christmas markets. I think it's pretty good for that. And it could also be really easy to go wave the passengers off, like I said, because it's Ospenhof. How hard is that to get to? Like, it's so easy. Uh, so overall, I think that pretty much says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so please hit me up in the comments. What kind of train enthusiast are you? Would you go on this ride or do you need that glamping aspect to really elevate it? Let me know, let's actually talk about something for once, eh? And then other than that, we've got plenty of videos coming out. I think our schedule's been really good lately. So yeah, like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.